<laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! My life is a fucking damn tragedy. I don't know what to do now. I don't know really what to do now. I have lost my job and I really don't know how I should go on further, how I should live. I don't even have money to pay for internet. I really have no have nothing. I'm really dying now. I'm really damn dying. Because what's for you in Russia to lose your job? It's like losing everything. If you are like alone, you you will die. You will fucking die. In every developed countries you receive a welfare and like very good welfare like i know in america um, people who not work receive wel welfare 100 dollars a month well just for it's for russia it's like a great sum of money only the successful people earn such money as one thousand uh, dollars a month you have to be very successful to earn such a sum of money. But in America, you you just have to do nothing. Like motherfucker, you're just doing nothing and receive such a great amount of money. Wow! It's it's like pure ins insanity for Russia. Just the average income a month, one hundred dollars to two hundred dollars a month. In some places, you earn one hundred dollars a month. Your income. You just have to work hard 12 hours a day to earn to earn fucking 200 dollars fucking months you are working hardly like a fucking slave and you earn 200 fucking dollars a month and moreover the half of this money you have to give to the government for your bills just the 50% of your money you pay for your flat, for the bills, for your flat, for the water, for the electricity, and etc. And you have for food just $100 a month. It's half of your income. Where on earth is such a country that you have to give uh, taxes for your flat that are in common the 50% of your income. It's fucking damn insanity! So, if you're a solo, if you're alone, you have like no family, if you're like living alone, you will fuckingly die. Because the prices on food, on clothes, on technical devices are just the same like in America or in Europe, even higher. And your income is uh, 10 times lower and how on earth people are living in these conditions it's 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 fucking damn fucking fucking piece of shit insanity just in russia to be true there are only two cities where you can live it's moscow and Saint petersburg so you just somehow can live because the salaries are two times higher than in other cities but the other, there, there are 80 towns in Russia and only two towns are fucking developed. It's Moscow and St. Petersburg. The income, the average income in these towns is $500 a month. So you will not be starving. But in other provincial, the other towns infra infrastructurally are not fucking developed. One person earns two fucking hundred dollars a month if you are lucky and if you are not lucky you fucking earn one hundred dollars a month so how people are, su are surviving in these conditions in this fucking shitty no salary they are working just for food and if you are alone you you will not be able to survive so people are surviving in groups like families living together so one member of the family is paying for uh, bills for a flat and the other m member or members of the family are buying food and clothes this way people are surviving in rush only in fucking groups so in one flat the average like four four or five maybe persons living so your parents your wife and like your kids if you have family so it's 
if you have children, so it becomes very difficult. Because there is no social ground at all in Russia. In in America, like like I know you, for uh, if for your children, for one children, you receive like uh, the well, the welfare one thousand or two thousand dollars a month, like uh, social donations for your children you receive. In Russia, for one children, for one kind kid, well, you receive like ten. Yes, ten dollars a month. Ten dollars a month, a welfare like a donation the government pay for 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 one kid. Well, for for one children, okay. So, if you have family, have little children, so you just in very great trouble because you have to feed them and. It fucking becomes insanity. So, how people living in these conditions? So people are working in Russia only for for food in other towns that are not Moscow and Saint Petersburg. In in other seventy eight towns, people are working just for a place of for a place of living your flat and for food. So you have to work hard just to earn money for food and. Uh, for for your flat where you can sleep at night because at days you are not allowed to come into your flat because 12 hours a day you are working for fucking 200 dollars a month so you only sleep in your flat so and if you and there is even no you are lucky if you have job because 10 uh, percent of people in Russia have no jobs at all and they don't have money to pay taxes for your flats and if you don't pay taxes for your flat you are all, like losing electricity and uh, the government takes away your flat and uh, you become a homeless man so to lose a job uh, means to, to become a homeless there are just incredible numbers of homeless uh, people in Russia so why people are working on such a low salary? People, because people are like zombies, are like walking dead. They don't have dreams, desires, like walking, working for satisfying their physical needs. Because people are, and people don't do anything with, with this. They don't protest, they don't say, well, what the fuck is going on? Why we are treated like fucking slaves? No, no one is saying this. Everybody is fucking working for food, for a fucking food, for a fucking loaf of bread. Cause people got got, got through the hundred hundreds years of hum humiliation. They got very fuckingly stupid. So people are like at at the level of fucking stupid cattle. Because you have to be a fucking zombie. To work only for fucking food. Work 12 hours a day just and receiving no profit at all. Just all the money goes for paying taxes and buying just very cheap and stupid food. You have to be a fucking zombie to live in fucking these stupid conditions. A fucking stupid zombie. And 90% of people living in Russia are, are like really zombies. They don't even ask questions. Why we are living like a slaves? Why our country is like a third world country, like some African country? No one is asking such a questions, like stupid, stu stupidly and obediently working, like tested animals. That's who people are know, like a damn fucking zombies. It's fucking insanity what's going on. Why people are so stupid and nowhere. In Russia, there was such a times that people were not slaves. There was completely always a slavery. Use the Tsar regime, 700 years of slavery. Then uh, during the communist regime, and now during the Putin's regime, nothing has has changed. Only the la the labels have fucking changed, but nothing really has damnly changed. They're 
fucking damn slavery and people the 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 worst thing at all that people are fucking no protesting they're like walking death like oh like what i'm i'm working on my fucking job and the jobs in russia are really not intellectual if you are finishing university this country doesn't need you at all because only physical work is praised here I have uh, a law degree, I have finished a law university and I can't find a job because there is no place you can work in Russia with your university diploma. There are just no any firms that are international, that are uh, producing some like uh, high technological products. No, there is just nothing. There are just some factories who are just producing some stupid stuff like boxes i don't know even what the like tires for cars and just like this stupid fucking fucking piece of shit stuff no computers like something that you could export to other Russia, if you are being intellectual and uh, you don't want to work with your hands, then you are just out of the situation. Uh, as you can see, Russia is technologically very, very undeveloped country. Uh, the factories are built here only to supply people with their basic needs. Uh, no high technology at all. There is only way in Russia. Uh, how you can earn money is to work on a government, be a government worker and uh, to be corrupted. Just there is no any other ways to earn money uh, in Russia except to be a thief. If you are an honest, decent man and uh, you are an intellectual, then uh, you'd better die. Because in Russia there is no fucking place for you. If you are starting to protest, you are being uh, immediately pressed down to the ground. If you are protesting against government, you are going to prison. Well, and uh, the society is just incredibly corrupted. If you are just doing some project or like uh, having some project and uh, you are going up uh, on the social ladder, so the society will just eat you because the society in Russia is very jealous for another people's success and people are just like oh you don't want to be like somebody like everyone else so we shall eat you now because people here are very very jealous they will not allow you to be richer than them and to be more successful than them the society is uh, whole corrupted and what is the most just pathetic thing about Russia that people, that people, these fucking damn zombies like this regime and they will protect their slavery against just, just like anything. They were slaves, their uh, fathers were slaves, their grandfathers were slaves and people think that it's, like, it's just a common sense to be a slave and it's something outrageous then uh, if someone doesn't want to be a slave and doesn't want to work for a shitty salary then it considers uh, to be like something wow like outrageous so the slavery here is uh, considered to be some like something normal and uh, if someone doesn't want to be a worker so uh, and to work for just for food then this person considered to be like insane or like something so and uh, mm, it would be normally like uh, if if people would uh, not defend their government like when some intruders come into russia like napoleon uh, normal people like uh, from the normal common sense uh, the those people like should be considered not like uh, invaders but like uh, salvators 
like people who came to save them from their slavery, like Napoleon wanted when he fighted uh, Russia. He wanted to cancel the slavery in uh, Russia. But people like destroyed them and protected their slavery like for ages. So it's like the phenomena of uh, schizophrenia, of paran oh, yes, of schizophrenia, of schizophrenia. It's a phenomena of some sort of insanity when when people like their slavery and protecting their slavery. So it's it's really damn uh, outrageous. It's the fucking mass insanity. It was due to the like negative selection when uh, due in the communistic times all the intellectual people who destroyed it and uh, only the hideous and stupid um, working class survived that uh, was ready to live in uh, horrible conditions and liked these conditions so only those people were not um, destroyed and uh, their uh, offsprings of these people are just uh, as hideous as uh, they are so it was allowed only for uh, hideous working class stupid monsters uh, to multiply so the situation in Russia is uh, incredibly hideous